Hello and welcome to 90 Days to Scale. I'm going to be diving into the three strategic pillars to turn your efforts into consistent income for your business. And this training is really complementary to the business plan workbook that I've created for you that you have received already. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click below and download the workbook, which will help you get the clarity around what I am sharing today. So let's dive in. Now, I'm celebrating you for saying yes to being here. Why? Because it means that you are an entrepreneur that is ready to learn the exact steps to turn your efforts into consistent income and set your business up to scale sustainably over the next 90 days. And that in my books is huge. There is not a lot of people that are committed to actually doing the work to make it happen. But by you already saying yes to this and taking the next 30 minutes to dive into this training and then to sit down and complete this workbook and make your plan for 2025 or beyond, it is going to be a game changer for you. And that is something I will always celebrate. Now, to make the most out of this training, I recommend a few things. One, grab a pen and paper. If you don't already have one, open a Google Doc so you can take some valuable notes during this exclusive training. You don't want to miss a thing and there'll be things that really resonate and land with you and some of them might not. Not everything that I'm going to say will be landing or applicable to you. So take what really lands for you. You may also want to re-listen to this again and take some more notes, but taking some notes and making a bit of a plan on what you're going to do from this training is going to be huge. Now, secondly, I love to hear what resonates. If you're catching this replay on YouTube, you can just comment below. You can ask your questions there. You can let me know what landed. Or if you want to have a more personal conversation, you can drop into my DM on Instagram at Teresa Lambert Consulting or connect with me on LinkedIn. Now, at the end of the training, you are going to be having an opportunity to actually book a free strategy call with me to discuss the next steps towards massive momentum in your business and working together or use the insights that we have explored together in this training to set your business up to scale over the next 90 days on your own. Regardless of what you're going to choose at the end of it, you're going to walk away knowing exactly how to turn your efforts into consistent income. And I'm super, super excited about this. Now, this training, this session, Session is specifically designed for visionary CEOs, ambitious coaches, and service providers that are ready to scale their business sustainably. So if this is for you, get excited, get ready, because we're diving right in. Now, what are you going to learn over these next 30 minutes? I'm going to break down the free strategic pillars to turn your efforts into consistent income in 90 days so you can scale. We're going to talk about being a CEO who makes growth look effortless and actually enjoys being and building your business. We're going to talk about ways in which you will simplify your business so you can stop the hustle and create sustainable growth. And we're going to talk about leveraging automations and sales and marketing systems to streamline your operations and or have a strong team so you can scale massively and even have a business that's set up to make $100,000 in five minutes. Now, that is what I'm here for. And then, of course, we're going to chat about next steps to scaling your business, which is going to be so freaking fun. Now, who the heck am I? If this is the first time you're catching a training from me, welcome. My name is Teresa. I am a business growth architect, creative strategist, and empowerment leader. I mentor visionary CEOs, coaches, and service entrepreneurs like you on strategically scaling their business in a way that aligns with your life and your goals. Now, I have over a decade experience in scaling business. In fact, I've scaled a business from 6 million to 15 million. I have scaled my own business from zero to 100K and maintained six figures ever since. That first six figure year was 2021. And I've also helped clients scale their businesses anywhere from zero to 50,000 and then from 50K to 200K, which is so incredible. A few fun facts about me because, you know, oftentimes we talk about these accomplishments, but who am I? Who is this person behind the screen that is about to tell you how you can scale your business and set it up in 90 days? Now, I'm a German Canadian that's living in Mexico. So if you're like, where is this accent coming from? This is where this accent's coming from. It's a wild mix. I lived actually in a ski resort in Whistler, BC for 16 years. And in 2022, I made a major life change, which ultimately led me to Tulum, where I currently live full time. And that is me hanging out at Dalek at the 
beach, one of my favorite beach clubs. Now, beach days are my favorite. I am a big fan of pizza. And I'm also a free, loving, spirited Sagittarius. If you're into human design, I'm a free vibe manager. I have an emotional authority. And in my gene key, my life purpose is freedom. And so it comes as no surprise that I am going to be diving in a lot with you to talk about how we can actually use these free pillars to create more freedom, to free up your time and to allow you to generate the income that you want without trading time for money. So let's go. Now, I'm going to start by saying really humbly that I was where you are and you may be experiencing some of this or all of what I'd experienced in my business. But really, for a long time, I was running my business and it was doing well. But honestly, I knew there was more potential, like sales were coming in and things were flowing. But particularly after that first six figure years as we were heading into 2022, I felt really stretched thin. Scaling without adding more stress or more complexity, quite honestly, seemed impossible at this time. And I had this vision for bigger growth, but the thought of expanding without burning out, honestly, felt like an absolute pipe dream. And I literally found myself in this huge life transition relying on the systems I had built up until then, but to grow from there was like, it ain't happening. And so in this moment, I decided I needed a team. So I hired a team fast without really putting in a plan or intention. And honestly, what ended up happening was that it cut massively into my profits in the business. And it left me feeling more stressed with huge overhead costs, which really didn't help my plans on scaling my business. And that's when I realized something really crucial. Scaling doesn't have to mean more work. Scaling doesn't have to mean more work. And what I mean by that is that scaling doesn't have to mean more launches. Scaling doesn't have to mean spending more time and trading it for money. Scaling doesn't have to mean needing 10 people on your team. Scaling doesn't have to mean more, 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 more. Scaling is really about getting clear on strategies, getting clear on optimizing your business model and getting clear on how you can even run it with a small or tiny team if you so desire and systems that will allow you to have your operations run smoothly, you serving your clients without being stretched thin and really maximizing what you're already doing to increase the revenue. So we want to have the same effort or less effort that we're putting in right now, but actually increase the revenue and also increase the revenue while keeping our expenses the same. And that is how we scale sustainably and profitably. And once I started to focus on my own business, on what mattered, which was the right systems and the right execution, just like I do for my clients when I come and I work with them in a close proximity space, I started also being able to scale more efficiently with clarity and confidence. And you know, now everything's falling into place and the momentum that I've been desiring to experience for so long has finally been happening all while working only four to five hours every single day. I take my weekends off to unplug and I have a business model that is designed for long-term sustainability, scalability, and massive growth potential. And you know, it wasn't until a few weeks ago, actually, that I sat back and something really landed deeply in my body. And what landed for me was that at last, after doing the work, after creating incredible digital products, after actually optimizing my systems and getting better at tapping into the power of automation and nurturing and all these beautiful things that I'll dive into more, do I understand that right now, while I'm talking to you, doing this presentation, I could be making $100,000. In fact, I could be making $100,000 in five minutes because that is the industry that we are in as coaches, consultants, as mentors, as service providers that offer a digital product. I have everything set up that if a post or when a post of mine goes viral, Everything is set up. When an ad I'm running goes viral, everything is set up and gets delivered automatically. So it's actually possible. And when that landed for me, it was like this huge, huge breakthrough because all of a sudden I saw that without me needing to do anything more, it was possible to massively scale. And now I know the path to millions in my business is clear. And that is what I want for you too. And the thing is, 
as I've been on this journey, I realized that no one really tells you that it takes strategic clarity to create a plan that turns your efforts to consistent income. There's very little talk about how developing a clear business plan and a business model that supports your lifestyle and defining your pricing and knowing exactly who your ideal clients are and how to communicate with them in the most effective way and how that aligns with the way that serves you can actually help you grow. There's a lot of talk about strategies. There's a lot of talk about golden bullet ways of doing something and seeing this massive success overnight. But a lot of the time that still comes with things being unclear in other areas of your business, it's nuggets, not the full picture. And strategic clarity is the full picture. And people don't really talk about that much. No one really talks about what scalable growth actually looks like, about building functional systems that automate your day-to-day -day processes so you can create repeatable results. And I want you to think about this in automated client onboarding processes, customer reputation systems, and nurturing your leads through a simple funnel with email automation that allows you to free up your time and energy for other tasks. One of the most important, which will be your zone of genius, which is serving your clients. And the thing is, with social media, with the way what we've been taught, with the way I grew up, and maybe you resonate with too, it almost seems like success happens easily when we look outward. It's like we're looking at, you know, this little like screen when we're on our phones and we're like, oh my God, all these people having all this success. Oh my God, like they're doing so well. And we look outward and we see what they do and they just post a little thing and then all of a sudden they make millions. And the truth is what you don't see is the behind the scenes, the strategy, the consistency and the mindset that is actually required to execute your plan effectively. And it's not just about posting on social media. It's about having a strategy that converts. It's about leading your clients through a well-defined journey all the way from becoming aware to your product to considering it and then deciding from an empowered place, yes, this is for me. Yes, I want more. Yes, I want to hire this mentor. Yes, I want to get in on this product or this offer you know, maybe hire you, you know, for whatever it is that you are doing in your business right now, whether you are a prep work facilitator, whether you are a coach, whether you're a yoga instructor, whether you are a copywriter, whether you are a business coach, whether you are a consultant, like it really does not matter what it is that you offer if you don't have a well-defined journey. Taking people from your social media into an actual paid offer is nearly impossible. So get ready because in this 90 days to scale training, I'm going to walk you through these three crucial pillars to have in place that will take your business from not just you putting in the consistent effort, but you're actually seeing a consistent income from it. So you can scale in a way that feels aligned and sustainable. Now, what does it actually look and feel like if you don't have those three pillars in place? Let's talk about this for a second. Let's take you maybe into some of what you're experiencing right now. And by the way, you're not alone. If you're constantly told that you're inspirational on your Instagram, but no one's actually taking action and buying, this might be a reason you are because you don't have those pillars in place. If you're getting attention, but it's not really translating into sales because your sales funnel is not optimized to move your leads through a journey, it's probably because you're missing these pillars. If you're creating a ton of opportunities and leads, maybe you even have clients, but your bank account still looks the same, you're missing some of these pillars. If you're doing everything, launching, posting, networking, but without the right systems and strategic clarity, you might feel like you're spinning your wheels without seeing the financial growth that you desire. If you ever wake up in the morning and say, oh my God, what am I going to try today? Where's that next client's coming from? If that's your motto and you're winging it and you're constantly testing new things with no clear plan, but the results are unpredictable and draining, it's because you're missing these three pillars, one, two, or maybe all of them. And if leads are coming in, but sales are not following and you keep hearing, oh, it's not the right time, or I can't afford it, it feels like a punch in the gut every time you hear this thing again and you like wanna like literally like pull your hair out. It's probably because your sales process is lacking the confidence, structure, and automation to actually close deals effectively. And again, do some heavy lifting for you. And listen up. 
I've been here. I felt that. And I want to take you into your body for a second. Like take a deep breath, close your eyes for a second, take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale. And just be honest. Is this what you're experiencing right now in your business? Have you ever felt like this? And if it is, it's okay. If this is a yes, it's okay, because we're about to shift it and change it. There's three pillars that I have come to know that are really critical when it comes to scaling, and I will break them down for you step by step. The first one is strategic clarity. The second one is about scalable growth and what that actually looks like and takes. And the last thing is making sure that you have confidence in your execution. These are the three things when they are in place, literally so much is possible and growth can skyrocket quickly. And this is what's going to be taking you from feeling kind of like, oh my God, how am I going to make this happen? to being like this best kept secret, to actually turning inspiration into action, to not being only inspiring anymore through your social media, but actually leading people and your audience wanting to take action with you because you're providing so much clarity to them and clear call to actions, they know what to do next. You're going to move from gaining attention to actually making sales. There's a huge difference between this and you would be surprised how many people I've met and spoken to that have tens of thousands of followers that get all this engagement on their social media. But guess what? They're not monetizing. They're not actually able to make sales. So attention is great, but attention that leads to sales is essential when you actually want to scale your business. So do you have a sales funnel that's optimized? Can you guide your leads seamlessly through the journey? And that is what you'll have when those free pillars are in place. You're going to turn opportunities into profit because your opportunities you're saying yes to are aligned with your business plan, making sure that your efforts actually align with the growth that you want and also increase your profitability. You're going to make sure that effort is put into systems, meaning that systems and strategy actually help you maximize your time and streamline your processes. So you can replace the daily chaos, the daily like, oh my God, I have so much to do, I'm so overwhelmed, into simple execution and sustainable growth. And we can put so much in place to help you do that. That doesn't require you to necessarily use a team, but sometimes some team members feel great. And then we're going to take you from hoping to predictability. Listen, when you have a focused plan in place, when you know that you have to take care of certain things, that's your responsibility as the CEO, you're going to make results inevitable if you take that actions consistently. There is a season for trial and error. And that season of trial and error starts at the beginning journey of your business. But when it comes to actually moving from that growth stage to scaling, trial and error becomes unsexier as you go along because you don't have the time, the energy, the capacity, or the resources anymore to keep doing that. You are ready to go. And the longer you stay at the place that you are, you're capped. So getting out of the season of trial and error and actually getting clear on this is the plan and this is the direction we're moving in is essential. Does that mean we never pivot? No. Does that mean we never make changes? No. But as a CEO of a company and as somebody who scaled a business from 6 million to 15 million, I can tell you that this is essential. You're going to have to have the audacity and the boldness and the conviction to say, this is the path we're going to go down. And I am going to make sure that I optimize this until it works because this feels like the right path. It feels aligned. I know it's going to work and we're making it happen. Okay. Okay. But it's no more trial and error. It's conviction and clarity in your path and flawless execution. And then we didn't know how to turn those leads into clients with a confident and structured sales process with automated follow-up, nurture sequences, ensuring that we're going to nurture and give all of those leads, all of those people what they need to literally self-identify whether they're an ideal client for you. And we're going to make it easeful and consistent, just like you will know at the end of this training or throughout what I'm saying to you, whether you want to book a strategy call with me to talk about what's next and how we can actually scale your business together by collaborating and co-creating and doing this thing.
right? And some of you will be watching this and say, oh, I'm not ready. And that's amazing. Then you're not ready. Or maybe you want to execute it on your own. That is cool. But if that is you, then you are not for my private close proximity program momentum. But if you're going to be ready and you're like, oh my God, I'm resonating with this. This is speaking to me. I get it. I want these three pillars in place. By the end of it, you will already know. So when you and I get on this call, it's going to be a dis discussion or conversation around what needs to happen and when are we going to stop. And that is exactly what happens when you have those three pillars in place. And this is where I want to share with you the story of one of my clients, Courtney. Now, when she came to me, she was making roughly one to three K months very sporadically in her coaching business. She had some good ideas, but really she was kind of bit all over the place, overwhelmed. She even was thinking about quitting her business altogether, wondering if she was made up for it. But she also knew that she wasn't going to reach her six-figure goal or you know, what she wanted to accomplish ultimately from joining a one-size-fits-all group program or the next 97 content masterclass. She was ready for more. She was ready to go. She wanted hands-on mentorship to scale our business. And this is how we literally took her from making around $3,000 to nearly $30,000 sales months in just four months. And then we went on to keep growing her business. And by the time we actually continued working together for a total of eight, 18 months, but earlier this year, she literally started the year off with $100,000 already secured in revenue and continued to build her business, setting herself up to have a multi six figure year in just the second full year in her business, which is incredible. And we did all this by implementing the foundations that are upheld of those three pillars that I'm going to be sharing with you today. So I want to invite you to just take a pause for a second with all the things I just shared with you. But imagine, as you close your eyes, if you knew exactly what to do every day to scale your business with ease. Imagine what that experience would be like. Imagine what it'd be like to be you a CEO of a company where you wake up with new client leads or sales calls booked with dream clients that are ready to work with you or payment notifications for new sales for your digital products. Imagine having a business that isn't only growing, but actually building the momentum and the consistency in your income that you've been craving since you started this entrepreneurial journey. Just allow yourself to just feel into that for a moment. What does that feel like? What would that be like? What is that experience like? Who are you being in this experience and how are you feeling in this experience? Just take a moment here and just really let yourself have it. Because I'm going to show you exactly how to make that your reality now. So let's dive in. How do you master these three pillars? You apply my scale method to your unique business, okay? These three pillars, the strategic clarity, the scalable growth, and the confident execution are part of a framework that I use that helps me as I approach business to really look at what actually needs to happen for your unique business and your unique needs as a CEO and your team's needs or your system's needs, your business's needs to actually get the result that you want to turn that vision into a tangible reality. That is what we're going to be diving into. So let's start with strategic clarity. What the heck even is it? Right? Maybe you're like, oh my God, strategic clarity. What are you talking about, Teresa? It is a tailored success plan that's designed for exponential growth and profitability. This business plan workbook that you've gotten access to or that you can literally download if you're watching this on YouTube, it's in the description below and you'll receive will guide you through questions to help you map this out and get this clarity. Why does strategic clarity work? And why is this even beyond just clarity? It removes confusion. It removes confusion by providing a concrete plan of action, and it ensures that every decision and action aligns with your goals and keeping you focused on what matters the most. Because it is so easy in this entrepreneurial world to get caught up into doing the wrong things or doing too many things or getting caught up in some rabbit hole that really doesn't matter. 
what is going to move the needle forward are the things that you got to get clear on. You have to become strategic with where you put your focus and how to use your time and make sure that you have the foundations in place to move into that direction. Because when you know exactly where you're going and why, the path becomes much clearer, helping you execute with confidence. And if you've ever written or written read <laughs> Brandon Bouchard's book, High Performance Habits, you will also know that clarity is the number one indicator for high performance. Clarity is the number one indicator for high performance. So if you want to perform at a high level, if you want to be part after 6% of business owners that have businesses that not only get to six figures, but maintain it or then go ahead and become part of the 1% that actually scales to millions, you're going to need strategic clarity. It is not going to come from guessing. And I know some of you may not want to hear that. Or some of you might be told that trial and error is the only way to get there. It is not. You can get clear and you can get clear now because you're not just starting. You are scaling. You already have a lot of good things going. Let's make them better. And we got to do that strategically. The result, a clear path to growth with well-defined targets and actionable steps. The result you not trading more time for money. The results are going to be exceptional. And some of the examples that that's going to be lived through is by actually having strong foundations. It's by knowing that your business model, your pricing strategy, your offers, and your messaging and positioning is set up to help you succeed. It's, for example, making sure that your offers really speak to your ideal client's needs and that your pricing also reflects the value in the market. And that foundation gives you the clarity without the confusion, which means you can communicate clearly and effectively to your ideal dream clients. Second example here is vision alignment. By breaking down your long-term vision into actionable, achievable steps, whether that goal is to reach 10K months or expand into a new market or get to 100K months, you'll have a crystal clear roadmap with defined milestones of what needs to happen to actually get you there. So this vision isn't just about a dream. It's really a strategic plan that you can execute. And that is huge. And this is also where, you know, when I work with my clients, I draw in my experience and as a fractional COO and consultant where I draw in and say, how does this need to be translated, this vision into your operations, into your systems, into your team, into the way we set things up so it can actually happen for you. And that is where pillar two comes in, scalable growth. What is it? It's about design finding functional systems and processes that will streamline your operations, streamline your sales and marketing, and create efficiency and consistency for your business. This is huge. Why does it work? Because it'll eliminate bottlenecks. It'll make it easier to handle increased demand without sacrificing quality or personal time, which by the way, if you're doing that right now as a CEO, you will eventually become the bottleneck in your business to growth. If you're not already, I know I was at one point and it's a hard pill to swallow, but it's the truth. But with the right systems, you can grow your operations without feeling overwhelmed. And it's allowing you to focus on strategy instead of getting lost in the day to day. And that is essential if you want to scale. The result, a more predictable growth for you with the ability to scale your operations effortlessly, right? I was talking about the ability to making $100,000 in five minutes. Your business and your systems have got to be set up for that. You're not going to be making $100,000 in five minutes selling digital products if you have to send a link out manually, okay? Of course, you could make $100,000 in five minutes signing one massive consulting client. It's possible, but guess what? You're probably going to have systems in place to actually then serve this client, to actually onboard this client. This is really key if you want more than one $100,000 client. So examples of that is coming from my framework around creative innovation. What the fuck does that even mean, right? But we want to streamline your operations by automating, for example, lead generation with tools like lead magnets and nurture sequences that will save you time and keeping things running smoothly. So if you have an online business, if you're selling digital products, if you are a coach, if you're a consultant, if you're somebody that sells a service, even a graphic designer, a copywriter, even a breathwork facilitator, a yoga instructor, like 
any service, having a really strong lead generation system that is automated can really help you. And I'll tell you in a moment, a very specific example around what that looks like and why that is so key. Now, we can also build automated client onboarding flows. So once a client says yes, the administrative side is handled without you needing to do more or pay a team member to actually get them enrolled and started. And this, again, lets you focus on growing your business while also providing an elevated client experience. And that elevated client experience is really key. Why? Because when our clients have a high level experience with us, they are far more likely to actually become loyal. And as a coach or consultant, you will get referrals and you also will see repeat buyers, which is key. And then the second thing on scalable growth is adoption. We have to keep adapting as demand grows. And that means we'll adapt your service delivery to maintain the quality. For example, we may eventually want you to shift if you're a coach from one-to-one -one coaching to group sessions or restructure the way you deliver your one-to-one -one so that you can increase the capacity of clients without trading more time for money. Yes, there is a way to do that. And or creating digital product with an offer that is already proven, that has already worked, ensuring that you can meet the demand without compromising your client experience and without trading your time for money. So let's let me give you a really tangible example because I love doing this because it's one thing to talk about lead generation and lead generation systems and automations, and it's a completely different one to actually show you what this looks like. So I teach something to my clients and give them this this really philosophy, which I call the invisible path to cash method. And that is the basis for a trust funnel. Now there's multiple different trust funnels, but it's really about leading the client through a funnel and through a client journey from awareness to consideration and past purchase. And awareness is all about how can we get traffic? Now, what the heck is traffic? It's really about getting our message out there. It's awareness creation. It's really getting eyes on your business, through organic content marketing or paid marketing, where you can establish yourself as the go-to expert for a specific topic in your industry. So social media, speaking, PR, networking, podcasting, or blogging can all be really great ways of getting traffic. And this is really where we want to focus most of our time when we have systems set up, which means that the more people we can get in the top of our funnel, the more people will go through the system. But now your focus is going to be getting people in here and then they're getting nurtured to be actually ready to buy from you. So once we have people be aware, we have to get people to actually go from being interested to tell me more. I want to know more. Every single one of you watching this, every single one of you opting into the business plan workbook literally became aware and then said, this is something that I'm interested in. And now you're actually in this and you said, yes, and you're watching this training which is what we want to do through launching your offer, whether that's a lead generation event that you do, for example, a masterclass, or in my case, through this more evergreen um, setup, it is a deep business plan workbook. And then this leads to, well, this masterclass, this training today on the three pillars, really building trust and giving my ideal client, which some of you are, an idea of what it would be like to work together and giving you the specifics and the nitty gritty and showing you how deep we will get into your business when and if we are to work together. And this is what we want to do through the trust funnel, because through that, people will identify and say, yes, I want to work with Teresa. She's the mentor for me. I'm resonating with this. I've never heard someone say it like that. And this will happen for you too when you create these trust funnels. And then that trust that's being built, that like factor that's being built is actually what ends up turning into your leads, turning into clients for your business. And this is where people say, yes, this is where people purchase, which is the third stage of the client journey. After that comes loyalty, you guys. So this is about positioning the offer, positioning the next step that comes after to communicating the value of your offer, the value of what you do, and for people to really say, yeah, I see what this person does for me. I see what you are doing for me. I see that this is what I want in my business, and I am ready to hire you to help me do it. That's what we want people to say when they get to the very end. So by the time you get onto a sales call with somebody, by the time you have a conversation, maybe even in your DMs, by the time they go through your funnel for your digital product and you make the offer, 
they already have decided that you are for them because you have literally built trust through all those three stages. And again, the effort that you will put in is around getting people into your funnel. It's about creating the awareness and then every single person that comes in that says yes already, now behind the scenes is a much more captivating audience. This will grow your email lifts. This will grow your leads. This will grow your business. Like this is literally all of it. But again, you do one thing over here and then people literally get automatically taken through this process and nurtured without you needing to do more or trading more time for your money until the stage if you do sales calls where you actually have a conversation with them or a strategy call, or a clarity call, or whatever you want to call it, to talk about the specifics of what are we going to do when we work together, and when are we going to start. And when you have those kinds of conversations at the end of your process, you're going to feel a lot different than getting onto the phone with somebody who literally you maybe have never spoken to you or has not had any experience with you at all, because they're already a warm audience. They already have made themselves go through this process with you and identified, I really align with this person. I am ready for this. And I just need a few small things from them right now before I can say yes. So there's going to be less objections as well, which is amazing. Okay. And then the third pillar is really the confident execution. Hey, what is it? This is about unwavering confidence in your business decisions, backed by support and a clear structured approach. This is so important. We want to move with conviction. Why does it work? Because confident execution ensures that you stay on track and make decisions with certainty. People can feel it. When you have a strong plan and clear direction, when you're empowered to act decisively, when you're reducing hesitation and increasing your productivity as a CEO, when you can show up with conviction because you know your plan is going to work and you have bought into it, things are going to change because now you take bold steps and your business executes seamlessly and you show up with the conviction and people can feel that. Whether you are leading them through a nurture sequence on your email, whether you are getting them to come and experience a training with you, it doesn't matter. People are going to feel it. They're going to feel it when they're taking the training. They're going to feel it when they're reading your emails. They're going to feel it when they're reading your posts on the socials. They're going to feel it when they get on a sales call with you because they know this person knows what they're doing. And that is attractive and that converts. Confidence sells. When you're wavering, when you're unclear, when you're stuttering on a sales call, I hate to tell you this, but when you're lacking confidence that you can help this person, why would they hire you? Think about that. The result of the confidence ex execution, a business that operates smoothly, clear direction for you, clear leadership, and you're feeling empowered to grow without second guessing. And your business literally will be able to take off. You want to be able to make $100,000 in five minutes. You want to be able to grow your business to six figures, multi six figures, a million. You're going to have to be confident in executing and working your plan. That doesn't mean we don't pivot along the way. It doesn't mean that we make fine adjustments, but it means we are saying yes to this path and we are saying yes to this plan. And as somebody who's built a business from 6 million to 15 million and grew a team from 80 people to 160 people, I can tell you that as the CEO, as somebody leading the company, you have to lead the charge. You have to lead the way for yourself and for them. You have to be confident it's going to work before you know that it's going to work. That certainty that comes from having the clarity, that's confidence from com that comes from knowing your scalable growth with systems and a plan to hold you in your conviction. That's the difference between the people that are growing and scaling their business in these wild, wild, wild ways and the people that don't. So let me give you some examples. How are we going to do this? How are we going to be having this confident execution? And here is a human error, I should say, confident execution. Two things, the two last things in my skill method are leverage, okay? We integrate new strategies into your current operation using your existing strengths of your business to scale. So many times over my career, I was asked how I took a business from 6 million to 15 million, how I did it. When three people before me with way more experience than me had literally quote unquote failed. 
I did it by leveraging the strengths of the business. I did it by looking at what's already working and how can we make it better. I did it by looking at what makes that business difference. What do we really need? That is how I was able to take that business from 6 million to 15 million. That is how I was able to grow a team that backed me as their leader, as their CEO, 100% because I knew we could only do it together and we needed the team. We needed the people to make it happen. So for example, if you have a business where you've already built a successful email list, let's leverage that. Let's reactivate it. Let's implement automation, email sequences, upsells, downsells, all the things to increase your sales and deepen your client relationships with an audience that's hot because they've already said yes to you. They're already deeper in your process. Let's tap into that. And this allows you to grow without constantly reinventing the wheel, which is huge too. Or we could, for example, optimize or build you a trust funnel that converts to automate your sales and marketing process working for you 24-7 without you needing to do more. And once we really leverage all the strengths there is, once we leverage all the assets you already have, once we leverage what's already there that's working, this and then putting the systems in place, that's when we can really expand. And this is really where we're going to scale your visibility and where you're going to scale your capacity to hold all of this. And this could mean we're going to expand your marketing efforts. This could mean getting more publicity. This could mean actually putting ad spend behind some of the things that you're doing and moving away from only organic to grow. This could also mean maybe at this point, yes, hiring a team very strategically to make sure that you can manage the growth. This is really about scaling with confidence. This is about being prepared to handle the demand and know exactly how to handle it when it comes, ensuring that the quality is going to be there and the consistency of the work is going to be there as you grow. And why are these three pillars going to help you scale and set you up to do this in 90 days? Because strategy plus systems plus automation creates momentum and momentum is what you need to actually scale your business, not just consistently, but also sustainably. Maintaining that momentum is huge and we do that through consistency in the experience for your clients, ensuring the seamless journey all the way from being a lead or finding out about you on social media to actually becoming a loyal client. It comes from congruency. The congruency is in your messaging and in your delivery throughout every step of your sales and marketing funnel that will reinforce your brand and attracting your ideal clients and also knocking out the clients that are not ready and not right for you, which also then builds loyalty. Because when people come into your space and there's congruency between the way you show up on social media, the way they experience a training and the way you are that they're on call, and then the way that you are when you deliver the actual experience, this will create loyalty. But that congruency is needed to not just get clients, but to actually create long-term relationships that again, will lead to repeat buyers, that will lead to referrals, that will lead to a, an abundance of growth for you far beyond what they say yes to in that first moment. And then the last is optimization of your time and resources, allowing you to really focus on growth while your systems work for you, scaling your business effortlessly without trading time for money. This is why these three pillars together work. So how can you apply them to your business? How can you now apply these? One, we want to audit your current business and then make a plan. Now you all got access to the business planning workbook, which will literally guide you through some critical questions to be able to audit what worked for you this year and to get clear on what needs to change for the coming year to actually make it happen. This is about gaining clarity. This is about knowing where your business stands. And this is about pinpointing areas for improvement. And by doing this, you'll be able to align your strategy with your goals, setting the foundation for the sustainable success that you want. You have to audit where you're at and you have to find where those minor gaps are in your operations and in your sales and marketing, which brings us to the second thing where we can focus on what needs to happen to close the gaps. This is what connects the strategic clarity that you get from auditing and making the plan to actually the scalable growth pillar, right? Once you've identified where those minor gaps are in your business operations, in your sales, in your marketing, you can refine your strategy and make sure you're focusing on the right actions to ensure 
that your systems and your processes are also optimized for growth and ultimately lead you to scaling effectively, okay? And once we know that, we can now make sure that all that's left to do through closing the gaps is actually the implementation, doing the thing that you said you were going to do. This is about your confident execution. It's about making sure that any tasks that are repetitive, we can automate to free up your time. This is about making sure that everything is leveraged so your existing strengths are being leveraged. We leverage systems to scale effectively or Maybe this is also where you're going to enlist experts and mentors to really support your growth without overwhelming your business to make sure that you implement the right things at the right time and so forth and or get support with all of those free, which is one of the things that I do when I work with my clients. I always start with a audit of their current business. We always start with getting clear on where you at, what do you want, where are the gaps and what's the plan to make it happen. Hey, this is Again, because it's foundational, because once we have that, that is when we can scale. That is when we can actually grow. And when we do it in a focused way, not in an overwhelmed, frantic way. And there's a very big difference between that. And listen, if you are wanting trial and error, if you are wanting to throw spaghetti at the wall because you feel like this is the only way entrepreneurship gets to be and you are buying into the hustle and you're buying into the trading time for money, then that's amazing for you. This is not the way that works for me. It's not the way I've scaled a business to 15 million. And it's not the way I've scaled my own business or helped my clients scale businesses. But if you are somebody who wants to do things in a way that's sustainable, if you want to be set up to actually make 100K in five minutes through your online business, and you want to do it in a way that doesn't need you to trade more time for money, then yes, you and I should have a conversation and you book a strategy call and we dive in. And I do a lot of this work for you when we're actually working together. Together because again, you get a mentor, you get my mentorship, my insights, my support on a day-to-day -day basis, but you also get my CEO hat. You also get my experience as a consultant where I really come in and look at what are you doing in your business and giving you insights and strategic direction that you can then apply. And we always make sure that it works for you and is aligned with you because that is really important and every business is different. Now, when you have these three pillars established, you're going to be able to have this business model that you want that turns your efforts into consistent income. It sets you up to scale your business, whether you're scaling from 50K a year to 100K a year or 100K to 500K a year or more, and it'll set you up in as little as 90 days. 90 days, and then you're off to the races. That is huge. That is huge. I mean, imagine you saying yes to this. Imagine you putting in the work now in three months from now, you can be well on your way to scaling your business. It may feel tense in the moment to do this work, but trust me, it is worth it. And learning is amazing, but learning what I just taught you is one thing to scale your business. The actual change will come from you making it happen, from you making the moves and from you taking action. So it's time to take action. It's time to apply what I've just taught you in this training and integrate these three strategic pillars into your business to drive real growth. It's time for you to take focused, intentional steps so you can start seeing the results that you desire and actually set yourself up for sustainable success. Because nothing changes until nothing changes and nothing moves until you do. So if you're really here because you're ready for the change, if you're really here because you're done with doing things the way you have and you're done being stuck at a certain income level and you're like, I am ready for growth, it's time to do the work and it's time to do this work strategically so it doesn't leave you feeling burned out and unfulfilled in your business. Because again, it's not why you went into your business the first time. And remember, you've already built a solid foundation. So maybe growth has stalled, but that doesn't mean there isn't some great things already that we can use to scale. You already have a clear vision and you have to be goals, but maybe the steps feel blurry and it's about getting clear so you can leave the frustration and the stuckness behind, okay? You're juggling client work and daily tasks, and I know you're having you know, effort that you're putting in, but you're not seeing the momentum. Let's change that and let's give you and your business the momentum you've been craving. Okay, I know that you want red, the clarity, the structure and the support to really unlock this next level because you wouldn't have been here listening to me, teaching you all this if you weren't already knowing that you're ready for that. 
And I know that you're somebody who's already blowing your clients' minds in your one-to-one -one sessions. You get regular referrals. You have incredible sales calls. But most of the time, you still feel like the best kept secret. And it's time we're going to change that and really elevate your business. And you know, beyond the shiny goal of scaling your business, you may be similar to me. You want sustainable growth, but you want sustainable growth and this income and have your efforts match your income, not just for the money. You want to spend more quality time with your family, with your friends and with those you love. You want to experience more freedom. We spoke about freedom at the very beginning, but you want to do the things that light you up. You want to go to your favorite yoga class in the morning. You want to have slow mornings. You want to travel to bucket list places. You want to, heck, start your day meeting a friend for coffee because you can you want financial security and stability. You want a business that pays you well. You may want to save money, buy a home, or make other investments. You want to feel ease and peace. You want to fall asleep at night actually feeling, you know, not only accomplished, but fulfilled by your work. And leaving the anxiety of how are you going to make it happen behind. You want to build a business you love, not a business that pays your bills. There's a difference between the two. So to you, this is about so much more than scaling. And if this resonates, it resonates because this is what I was too. And this is what I'm building for myself. And I can tell you it's possible that you can do it. So imagine where you could be in your business if you confidently showed up every day, knowing exactly what to do to grow your business without needing to be switched on 24 seven. Imagine having a clarity and a clear plan to actually guide you towards your goals without second guessing. Imagine having systems and automations that freed up your time, allowed you to make 100K in five minutes and turning your efforts into more income without you trading more time for money. That's a big one. Imagine having a strategic approach that actually drives results and that's uniquely tailored to you, meaning it actually feels good. And I know you're not just looking for advice. You're actually seeking a soulful expansion. You're seeking something that feels really good with a business that works for you. And that honestly comes so much from really stepping into your power as a CEO and from having this clarity and confidence, just like one of my clients, Patricia, who is an online business manager. And she worked with me for eight months and it was incredible to see her rise, to see her start hiring her first team members and really grow not only did she get a wealth of knowledge but we really implemented strategy launches refinements and gave us systems that helped her to scale and set her up for long-term success or my client sarah who came to me really wanting to redefine what's possible for her in her business and life she came to me and actually i came on board as a fractional coo to help her in her practice. And we really work together to restructure her team, to implement automated processes, and to really streamline her operations so she could scale her practices substantially and most importantly, free up her time to focus on her clients and the growth of her business and other businesses. And, you know, it was the best. Just a few weeks ago, I was on a call with her as we were finishing up our five months together. And she literally told me that she was away in LA for a week. She took the time off and she shared with me that literally for the first time, she hardly got any questions. She hardly had any emails from her team. The practice ran smoothly without her needing to be involved. And her team really took charge. So she was hands off and hands free in a way she never thought was possible. And that to me is incredible. And that's what's possible for you too. Because again, when we work together, when you come into my mentorship program, Momentum, or whether we decide that working together with me as a fractional COO is the right next step for you to scale, you are going to get my expertise and my hands up approach, which is game changing and such a different experience from, I would say, 99% of the mentors and or business coaches that you meet out there. And this is why I do what I do, because it's my zone of genius. And I understand. I understand that there's unique challenges that you face as a driven visionary entrepreneur that desires more than conventional success. I know this because I am like this too. We share this. Yes, we want the growth, the expansion, and you want to scale your income. Of course, we all do. But you also want freedom, space on your calendar, and take off weekends without stressing over your business or checking your phone every five minutes. 
I have felt that anxiety for a very long time. It used to be like sitting on my chest. But with the right strategies and functional systems in place and the right support, this and more is really beyond possible for you. And that's what I want you to take away from this when you choose to do the work. Again, whether you're choosing to do it on your own or to come in. But when you do this right and you have the right support, you'll be able to, for example, pay yourself a $100,000 salary or more from your business. You're going to have a company that it runs without you being switched on 24-7 or involved in every step, which is also about mastering, leading a team and leadership. It's a whole other story. Trust me, I'm from 80 employees to 160 employees. When I scaled this business to 15 million, taught me a lot about leadership and leading a team and surrendering and letting go. It's about achieving your annual revenue goal while working the same or less. This is what scaling is about. It's not about doing more. It's about reducing pressure to always make a new sale each month because you're going to have a business model that generates monthly recurring revenue for you, okay? Meaning you go into the year like my client Courtney with $100,000 already on the books before the year even starts. It's the peace of mind that the systems and the processes in place actually support you as you grow. It's having an actual backend in your business that does some heavy lifting for you, okay? Having a sales and marketing system like the one I'm using here, that you're in it and experience that generates not just consistent leads, but quality leads. So by the time you get on sales calls with people, the feeling of it will be so different. And those of you are saying, heck yes, I'm ready to book this call. Let's make this happen, Teresa. I bet you and I are going to have a lot of a different conversations than if we would have had if you would have booked us before you watched this training, before you realized what I was offering and how I was working and what I was sharing. There's a reason for that. There's an art to that. And you can learn this and leverage this as a CEO of your business. And of course, having a business plan to help you scale and stay focused on your strategic priorities. Because overthinking and procrastination is keeping you stuck and it's keeping you frustrated and is not a fun place to be. And you know that you want a strategic partner to turn your aspirations into impactful realities. And if that is you, and if this is resonating, then let's talk about how we can make it happen together. Let's have a no BS conversation. Let's book a strategy call, click below, lock it in. And you and I will literally take a deep dive into your business and you will be really crystal clear how we're going to make it happen and when we're going to make, you know, when we're going to make the moves and when we're going to start. And it's going to feel like an empowered decision because you know this is the right next step for you to scale. And scaling your business, honestly, doesn't have to feel like this huge freaking challenge. It doesn't have to feel like you're climbing Mount Everest. And, you know, a beautiful experience I had was with my client, Martina, who, who came in and she actually felt quite big, burned out. And also, honestly, I'm just going to say it a little bit burnt from this industry, from the coaching industry, from the mentorship industry, from this traditional industry that we have built, where a lot of the times there isn't transparency. A lot of the times there isn't a real approach to actually building a business. A lot of the times it's not holistic and it's not hands-on. It's just getting a bunch of advice or watching a bunch of trainings. And that is not how I work. And one of the things that she said to me was that working with me is like taking the biggest sigh off relief in your business. It's like exhaling and knowing because I really go deep with you. And I know that mindset is important. I know that energetics is important. I know that finances are important. I know strategy is important. I know launching is important. There's so many things that come together that we got to do. But above and beyond, I want to make sure that you are really taken care of and we are building this business so that it's going to work for you. That means that not strategies that I may use for my own business may not be applicable to you. It may mean we amend and do things differently for you and optimize it and refine it to fit your strengths because I have different strengths than you. And that is why the world can be a beautiful place and we can co-create together because when we leverage your strengths and my strength as CEOs and come together and walk side by side as two CEOs that are going to be scaling your business, you are going to make it happen in a way that fucking feels amazing. And that is really going to be manifesting in this real world and actually make results happen. This isn't just a pipe dream. This is your business. This is your livelihood. And I take it very serious, which is why I want to make sure there is alignment between you and I, which is why I still have calls with people for my close proximity spaces. 
This is why. Because when you and I say yes to each other and committing to growing your business, we're in it for five months. And we're going to be working through a lot of different things to make it happen. And we're going to have tough conversations and we're going to maybe disagree at times. Maybe. <laughs> because it's important. And when two creative people work together, friction happens. So there is more fire. So there is more expansion. And it's a beautiful experience because it'll crack you wide open. And it'll literally do what needs to happen, setting up your foundation and scaling your business. And that is what I want for you. You're ready for this expansion. You really are. Especially if you are still here listening to this. If you're excited to open that business plan workbook and get to work and answer those questions, you're ready for this expansion. So book your strategy call below. It's free. Let's talk about the next step for you to gain massive momentum and actually scale your business in a way that reflects your business. Let's talk about doing it together, co-creating together and making it happen.